Technically, Jean Andouis is a glass blower, but in actuality, he is more a glass sculptor than a blower. He molds and rolls shapes and blows until he comes up with the likes of these glass sculptures. I like to poke fun with it. I like to go beyond the borderlines if I can, and, and I seem to have a tremendous fight with this living within borderlines. I have to break borderlines. Yeah, it's true. But Jean does not see his sculptures or his work as a joke. He takes them very seriously. He says he strives for understanding, but not by controlling glass. He says, I love glass, but not just blowing it paper thin, crystal clear goblets or vases. He says, I like watching it take shapes that say something new. Jean Andouis was born in Holland. First he studied music and then science. And then by chance he took a class in glass blowing his senior year at the university. Before he knew it, he was teaching glass blowing at the Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, here in the United States. What caused him to leave Holland in the first place is what causes many immigrants to head for America. Dreams and fantasies, uh, white, white spaces, white open spaces. Holland became small. Uh, its culture, its traditions, especially the traditions. But whatever the rationale, you know, I just had to, I had to leave, I had to go. And have his dreams and fantasies come true here in America? Yes, uh, they are not outside, they are within. And no matter where you go, you will find them anyhow. But that's only hindsight. And uh, I'm, I'm still glad to be here. I'm still glad to, uh, to feel this space and uh, to be the foreigner or the outcast or the unusual one or the unpredictable one. Whatever word, it's a nice feeling. If success is measured by acceptance, Jean Andouis is a success. His works are featured in such prominent collections as the Chrysler Museum and the Australian Council for the Arts. How many people could take an old Italian waffle iron and come up with a glass sculpture worthy of a place in a museum? Well, there's at least one, and he's doing just that, here in his handmade barn studio in Galena on the eastern shore of Maryland.